Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of auction for Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be uh, showing you how the admin of the Magento 2 web store can add auction to his products. And after that, we'll be showing you how the customers can bid on the admin's auction product at the front end. So for that, let's go to the admin backend panel in the first place and let's see how the admin can apply or add the auction to his products now the admin would be able to add the auction to his uh, already created products or can add auction to his newly products as well so the admin needs to go to the backend panel first and the admin actually has too many options under the auction manager the very first auction uh, manager option is the auction wallet details and the other one is the manage auction menu option now under the auction wallet details the admin is able to view all the auction wallet details for all the customers uh, who have made use of the wallet so under the auction wallet details here you can see the customer name the total amount the, uh, the customer has added the remaining amount the used amount uh, you can also check the individual details uh, for this and you can also check the transfer request details. Apart from that, under the, ma um, uh, under the manage auction uh, option here, the admin would be able to add new auction to the products and to do so, the admin would have to click on the add new auction button. So what we'll do is, uh, we'll click on the auction manager we'll go to the manage auction option and here we'll click on the add new auction button to add a new auction to my product so now under the add new auction option here i need to select the product on which i'd like to add the uh, auction so from the drop down i'll select the product i'll set the uh, starting price for this uh, product uh, let's set the starting price as 180 and let's set the result price as 20 we'll set the auction start time as today our auction type stop time would be exactly like after four minutes and I'll set the number of days till the winner can buy this auction uh, product. So I'll set it as three days. I'll set the minimum quantity that needs to be purchased. I'll set it as two. And I'll set the maximum quantity that the uh, that the customer uh, would have to purchase if he has won this uh, auction. So I'll set the maximum quantity as five. So he'll not be able to uh, purchase more than five uh auction items at a time and after setting these uh, options i just need to click on the save button and this would add the auction to the blue bangles uh, that uh, uh, that is one of the products that i have and now you can see the auction product list and here you can find all the products on which you have set the auction right so uh now the auction product on the front end uh, would be visible to the customers with all the details there. So let's go to the front end. Let's see how this uh, Blue Bengals product is visible to the customer after the auction has been applied to it. All right, on the front end here you can see that I'm on the search page right now, and uh, I'm also able to see the uh, that the bid ends in uh, two minutes and two seconds. I can read the details and. Uh, so let's go to the product page and let's see how the product page uh, is visible to the customers uh, for this auction product. And on the right hand side here you can see uh, that the bid is on uh, the blue panels and it ends in 1 minute and 41 seconds. And the current bid amount is $0. The minimum quantity is 2. Maximum quantity to purchase is 5. Current bids, 0 bids. Opening bid amount is 180. And... Uh, uh, and the 10% amount will be detected from the auction wallet on each bid that's placed. So what I'll do is I'll just enter the bid amount and I'll set it to 900 and I'll click on bid now. 
all right so here you can see that the bid has already been placed uh, has only been already been placed and it's showing one bids now and the uh, time is showing that it's only 36 55 seconds for and under here you can see the bid details the current amount that was that had been bid and after that the start and stop time minimum maximum quantity the bid rule normal bid list is also visible and if there are any automatic bids that those will be also visible in the next uh, tab here after the normal bid list so this is how the uh, customer would uh, perceive this uh, auction product at the front end and uh, if the customer now uh, has uh, won this auction so the customer would be able to purchase the auction product at the auction price that he had bid in the first place so uh, this was all about uh, how the admin can add the auction to the products and we showed you how the admin can see the auction products in the back end after that we showed you how the auction would be visible to the customers at the front end so that was all about it and uh, hope it helped you out and now here you can see that the auction has ended and only one person had a bid on this auction and right now we can see the message as well that you have won the auction now you can get it in nine hundred dollars so uh, we just need to pay the amount that's eight hundred and ten dollars now so uh, that was all about this and hope it uh, helped you out and uh, and if you have any question or queries regarding this extension, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may also raise a ticket at webcool.ubdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video. You can also subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button uh, on the uh, video link itself. And have a great day ahead.